Welcome guys to another amazing hybrid squad builder and in this video I'm going to be building the best and highest rated hybrid without informs between the Liga BVA and the Bundesliga so let's get this underway and as usual we start with the goalkeeper which in this case I've chosen Neuer. Neuer is the joint best goalkeeper alongside Buffon and Casillas. I could have actually played Casillas in this squad builder but I decided to go with Neuer just because I feel he's slightly better in game and he's also better for chemistry in this team. So in front of him I've chosen to play the best centre back in the Liga BVA which is Sergio Ramos. He has 80 pace, 84 defending and 86 heading and he's one of the best centre backs in the game not even just in the Liga BVA and his price is actually a lot affordable compared to FIFA 13 so if you're thinking of getting him he's roughly around 40k I believe and next to him in the centre back position I've chosen to play there the highest rated centre back in the Bundesliga which is Hummels. He has 65 pace which is quite disappointing but he does have that amazing 86 defending. So that is the centre backs completed and in right back we have chosen to play Hummels is international teammate Philippe Lam. He plays for FC Bayern and has 79 pace and 82 defending which I think is slightly decreased but he's their highest rated right back in the game. 87 so that is absolutely incredible and in the left back position we're playing Sergio Ramos's teammate Marcelo Marcelo is one of the best Brazilian left backs and he has 82 pace and 81 defending and plays for Real Madrid so that is why I've chosen to play him there and in front of Ramos and Marcelo I've chosen to play Xavi in defensive mid he isn't the greatest defender in this game because he's Stats are slightly decreased in that aspect, but he can play there because he has played it in real life. And next to him is his teammate in real life, Iniesta, one of the best centre mids in the game, 89 rated and has 91 passing just like Xavi. So those are probably the two best centre mids that you can get in this game. And next to them to complete it off is the third best midfielder in the game or centre mid and it is Schweinsteiger. His stats are absolutely incredible. His pace is kind of slow with 63 but he has 80 defending and 86 passing. So he will sit just in front of Hummels and Lam and bring a great chemistry. And in the right wing position we have chosen to play there Robin. Robin is absolutely incredible in this game he has 92 pace 85 shot it's disappointing that his weak foot hasn't gone up that much but he is still a great player to have so sitting in the strike position of course is the best striker in the game Leano Messi well that is down to rating anyway he has 92 pace 89 shot and this guy costs a bomb so some of you might not be able to afford him because he is just absolutely incredible and costs a lot of money but he is also great to have. But you can get better players even though he is the highest rated. So to finish off this squad builder, I have chosen to play here the second best player in the game, Cristiano Ronaldo. And there's nothing more to say about this guy. He's insane. He's got five star skills. He's massive, strong and got an amazing shot and really fast at the same time. So that is a squad. If you want to change the formation, you can also play this 4-3-3. Which will bring Swainsteiger into centre mid and a Javi and then put Iniesta in cam. But that is more attacking. But I wanted it slightly more defensive because I didn't want to concede too much. I also decided to rotate Hummels with, I think it was Dante who is actually on the reserves. I prefer Dante to him. So just for that sake, I'm going to be playing Dante instead. So guys, I hope you like this squad builder. If you do like this, feel free to drop me a like. It did cost me quite a lot of coins and I will be making a lot more of these squads soon so as for now i'm going to be showing you some highlights and i'll be back in a sec so this 87 rated team actually made it into the top 100 highest rated teams throughout the whole of fifa 14 ultimate team however this team did actually have some major flaws to it which i'm going to be talking about first before i talk about how incredible this team was at times so the first major flaw of this team is the price tag. For many of you, the price tag is unreachable. It will cost you a few million coins to be able to afford a team like this, which for some of you, you won't be able to get throughout the whole of FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. So that is quite disappointing in that aspect. Another thing I noticed was the defense was quite static at times mainly Dante he didn't seem like he wanted to move and it also seemed like sometimes they just let strikers run straight through them another thing I noticed was sometimes I couldn't string two passes together not even two it just seemed like the passing was so bad at times I couldn't even pass to get forward to score and I was just conceding some sloppy goals 
Apart from that, this team was absolutely incredible. Neuer in goal was so solid. However, he did let in some sloppy goals at times, which was very disappointing. In front of him, Dante, I've said he was quite static at times, but apart from that, he was a good aerial threat and also a pretty solid centre-back. Ramos, one of the best centre-backs I've played with. He's very quick, catches up to strikers a lot, does his defensive duties and actually scores quite a few set pieces from his head and left back his teammate Marcelo was just an overall good left back to have he didn't get as involved in the game as I thought he would I thought he would be going forward a lot more than he did but he just chilled back and done his defensive duties apart from that the defense was solid Lam got forward quite a lot and supported Robin and actually scored a few goals and I think even assisted one or two so he was really good in front of them Schweinsteiger and Xavi Two of the best defensive midfielders in the game. They were so solid. They have an amazing shot and actually scored scored quite a few goals as you will see in this video or in the highlights. But I didn't actually show you all the highlights. But yeah, they scored quite a few long shots as well. So they was really solid in that aspect. Iniesta is a great cam to have. In this role he was playing centre mid but he gets forward like he's a cam and actually assists quite a lot and sets up a lot of chances. So he is very great in that aspect as well. Left wing, Ronaldo. You can't get a, be a better left winger in this game than Ronaldo in my opinion. He is so strong, skillful and he is just a man. He's strong in the air and in the air is so overpowered in this game because you can literally just cross it and he will win the header which he did just there as you saw and he's done that many of the times as well so that is Ronaldo and right wing Robin Robin actually scored quite a few goals for me he was really decent you will see that in the last goal and yeah he's just an overall great player to have however Messi in strike is quite poor in my opinion I'd much rather have someone like Neymar than Messi but it's your choice if you like him. I just find him very weak and not that clinical. So this was the best goal that I probably scored with this team. And look at that incredible goal by Robin. And that is probably one of my best goals in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. So please feel free to drop me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching Flashback Gaming.